Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on rounding numbers. This is the second video on the topic and we're just going to go through some example questions here. So the first one we have to round 235 to the nearest 10. So 235, um, the cutoff point is the tens column. So we draw a line uh, between the tens and the ones column. So we're rounding to the nearest 10 uh, and the digit after the cutoff point is a five. And the rule is five or more, we round up. So we're going to have to round this up here. Uh, so therefore, we're left with 240. Uh, so that's to the nearest 10. Moving on then, uh, we have 13.746, and we're rounding to two decimal places. So let's draw in the line uh, after the second decimal place. So we're considering the digit after the line here, which is the six. Again, this is more than five, so we're gonna round up. Uh, so we're gonna be left with 13.75. Moving on to the next example, uh, we have to round 8,000, 529 to two significant figures. Uh, so the, the first two significant figures are the first two non-zero digits, which in this case are eight and five. So the cutoff point is between the five and the two, and we're rounded to two significant figures here. Uh, so the digit after the cutoff point is less than five. Uh, so we're gonna round down this time. So we're left with 8,500. Now remember to put the zeros in uh, if you've got thousands in this case and you're rounding to two significant figures because you have to keep the place value the same uh, when you've done the rounding. And finally, uh, we have to round 0 0.00589 to two significant figures. So uh, this time uh, we consider the five and the eight as the first two uh, non-zero uh, figures. So these are the first two significant figures and then the nine is the third significant figure. So we're gonna have to round up in this case because it's more than five. Uh, but here, uh, this eight will become a nine. So we're left with 0 0.059. Uh, so that's all there is really to rounding numbers. It's just a skill you're gonna have to practice in order to get better at it. So if you're feeling good about this topic and you want to get some practice in, you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform. And if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, a variety of different question types, uh, and all of it you'll get instant feedback on. So it's a really good way of keeping track of where your areas of weaknesses are, where your strengths are, and where you can improve for your exams. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and it will take you straight over there.